Hi everybody, how's it going today? It's a couple days after I shot the uh, the gelato video. Like I said in that video, we had uh, two inches of rain here in the last couple days. And now we've got uh, a whole lot of runoff coming down this creek here. My dad had mentioned here to me uh, that this road was starting to wash out. So I thought I would go check it out because one of our guys lives. There's one house at the end of this road with a driveway on it. And one of our guys lives there, Federico. And he, he, I'm sure, wants to be able to get to and from his house at some point uh, if this road is washed out. So I thought I would check it out. I was hoping to get his car moved to this side of these culverts so that uh, we could get him a side by side or something to go back and forth from the house. But it looks like it's too late already. Uh, half of this road is gone here. So we'll, uh, we'll get out and check it out. Uh, we'll probably have to build him a bridge or something to, so he can get across safely later today here we'll uh, try to get some video of that also but i'll show you guys how much water is out here so that this is a a creek that runs through here and if if you guys can believe it this creek was completely dry all of last year not even any runoff in the spring which is uh yeah that's Kind of crazy to think about how much water is uh, coming through it now so you can see there's a there's a pretty big hole in the road already and the, the gravel starting to crack here the water never did go over the road but it, it just it's coming so fast and then it starts to slip on the outside of the culvert going through the road and as soon as there's a little hole on the outside of the culvert it just gets worse after that so this this uh, creek that runs here comes from Carrington and uh, all the rainwater from town also comes down this creek and it it rained so fast and this water's coming so fast uh, it, it wasn't really the amount of rain just how fast it's coming that's uh, causing these issues. I talked to our uh, uh, township one of our township board members and it sounds like they've had some more roads wash out further east of us where they had more rain. He's coming to check it out to see if we can get this road repaired but we'll probably have to wait until the water goes down a little one of these culverts washed out here a few years ago and they completely took it out repacked the dirt put the culvert back in packed it all in and still it uh, washed out again i just picked up some wood here at my uh at a storage shed at my sister's place so we can build a bridge for federico to get across that road there thought i'd uh, jump out here quick and show you <laughs> So this is uh, about a mile upstream from where that road uh, washed away. This is a, one of the main roads that goes to the dairy. So you can see all this water here. It's pretty windy. Hopefully it's not too windy uh, for you guys. This is just about up to the road. It was higher here yesterday or last night because you couldn't see that the inlet of that cul culvert there. It didn't go over the road, but it was uh, really close. Hopefully, this uh, hopefully this road holds up here because this is uh, there's quite a bit of traffic going over this road all the time. There is another road that the milk trucks and feed trucks get can get in to and from the dairy, but a lot of times they will take this road here because it uh, it goes straight north to the highway. I think this road has washed away once before in the past as well, but so far it looks like it's holding. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's been a lot more flooding in uh, north eastern North Dakota, but they're a lot flatter over there too. So the just uh, nowhere for the water to go there. Uh, just a little bit uh, northeast of us here, they had six inches of rain, I believe, five to six inches over the last few days. So could be uh it could be a lot worse if we had that amount of rain i'm sure that we'd have a lot more roads washed out there's so there's some more there's some more rain in the forecast here i think for thursday hopefully uh we don't get much out or, or any out of that one we don't really need any more rain at this point we'd uh we'd like things to uh, dry out a little here i'm out back here now by our uh, feed area so in this uh, this pond here, this is where we collect all the rainwater from the farm. It's pretty windy. Hopefully, you guys uh, don't hear all that wind. We'll 
try to get out of the wind here a little bit. So around all the farms there's drain tile so we catch all the water that runs off the roof and we collect all the water from our uh, manure storage and silage storage. So that, that ends up in this pond here. We There was a few uh, runs of tile that still were frozen up until a couple days ago and they opened up just before this rain. We got a little bit lucky there otherwise we'd have an even muddier mess than it is now. The uh, the manure pumping crew here they apologize for my dirty windows but they, they uh, showed up here I think Sunday or Sunday or Monday were dropped off some equipment. They finished a the job out in western North Dakota and really didn't have anywhere to go other than uh, yeah, move, start moving their stuff back this way. They're from Minnesota and they have a few jobs to do here in North Dakota still and then uh, they have one or two jobs in Minnesota left to do. But it sounds like they might be moving their stuff up north here. I think there was a hog farm that uh, didn't get as much rain as we did and they're on some sandy soil so they thought they could uh, start pumping manure up there in the next few days. So hopefully it dries out a little bit here and then by the time they're done there they can come back here and start but we'll see how it goes. I thought I would show you that drain tile quick. So I'm on the, the south side of our heifer barn here. So you can see there's uh, big rocks here and then there's a... Uh, every so many feet we've got one of these things to catch uh, or to drain water if there's really big rains. But there's a 10 inch uh, drain pipe underneath all these rocks. So we have that around all of our barns so we can catch all the water coming off the roofs when it's uh, raining. We collect that rainwater and then we're able to pump that up to our sand separator building and we can use that for washing the sand as well if we have uh, issues with our solid manure separator or if we uh, don't have a lot of water in our parlor pit because we'll use that water as well the waste water from the parlor area so we can send either that water or the water from the from that uh, water runoff pond uh, and send it up to our sand manure building to separate the sand just uh, thought I'd show you guys that quick and uh, later today here um, we'll uh, go over to uh, that road where that's going to Federico's house. We'll uh, build him a bridge so he can get back to the dairy to and uh, get away from his house I guess because that's the only way in and out of uh, his driveway going to the house there. Back here where the culvert washed out. You can see water's running on both sides of the culvert here now. This side's partially plugged up with cattails by the looks of it. I, have, I was just here uh, 15 minutes ago. I just built this bridge quick. So that Federico could get across. I... It's not much, but it'll work for now. He parked his car up there and then walked uh, the rest of the way here. I don't know, there's a second culvert here. I don't know if this one is starting to wash away too. Doesn't look like it here. But it does look like it's kind of plugged up. I brought a shovel along to see if I could get that unplugged a little bit there so uh, a lot of water it's kind of weird because on if you uh, look at the fields other than the low spots that have water standing in them and the 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 ditches the rest of the field doesn't really look that wet I don't know if must have uh, soaked in because it's yeah when once you get out into the part of the field it almost looks like it'll be uh, dry already tomorrow but I'm sure that's not the case so I'd, I wouldn't uh, if I just looked at the field I would not guess that we got two inches of rain here a few days ago I'm just gonna grab a shovel here and see if I can open that culvert up able to get some of those uh, cattails cleared away here but it's just gonna keep coming from down there it's kind of flowing in good now but I'm sure it'll get partially plugged up here again later so a little bit upstream there there's a pasture and there's a lot of cattails growing along the creek there and when the water gets this high it picks up all that all that uh, trash that's laying on the sides of the creek or all that cattails and 
other plant residue and carries it downstream. Well, it made it through the three culverts up there and there's only two here, so I'm sure that's probably part of it. it just starts to stack up here because two culverts can't keep up with three. And I'm sure it'll be the same further downstream where there's uh, where it goes through pasture or where it goes through part of the creek that's not clean. It just starts to hold up and then you have issues. We'll see. I'm sure this water will drop quite a bit overnight. It's uh, dropped some already here since uh, I was here this morning because you could barely see the top of those culverts here this morning and now you can see a good four or five inches of them. So I'm sure overnight it'll drop quite a bit again. I think they're going to wait a couple days to let some of this water settle down because I'll have to take this culvert all the way out. And, uh, yeah, similar like Similar like they did before, they'll have to repack the dirt, lay it in there and pack the dirt along the sides of it and try to build this edge up with, with rocks maybe. They, it's what they did before, but the water just comes so fast, it just sneaks on the outside of that culvert and as soon as there's a little hole, it just pierces right through and creates a crater like this. A little bit crazy what uh, water can do if it's uh, flowing fast enough and there's enough volume, just rips the whole road out. It's a couple days later here. We uh, got some more rain this morning, about an, another inch of rain. It's not too bad on the yard here, but the fields are starting to look pretty wet now. It was just starting to dry out good again, and then we get some more rain. And it sounds like uh, this afternoon we're gonna get uh, another chance of some thunderstorms. On, uh, I, I mentioned to you guys we got a couple inches of rain uh, Sunday, Monday. We had a thunderstorm come through here and we had a, uh, the power went out, there must have been a power surge. And we we're having some issues with our hot water heaters. As, as far as we know, that's the only thing that we're having issues with, but it, uh, it fried the, uh, the controls for them. So they're propane, but they still have uh, electronic controls. So we were waiting for parts for them. We have three of them here. Uh, parts came in yesterday put the parts in they still wouldn't work so then they uh, decided to try running it off a generator and that does work so we've still got some kind of an issue going on that uh, apparently these are very sensitive uh, for voltage and we must have a ground issue somewhere but the, the really weird thing is we can only run one at a time with with the generator and uh, our plumber brought his generator. It's a smaller handheld one. That one we can use to run one of the three. We have a little bit of a bigger generator. So uh, both of them are Hondas and our generator will not run either one of them. It just keeps throwing an alarm. So we've got it plugged into this generator here now running. I've just been switching them back and forth between the hot water heaters. And that's our generator there for whatever reason. When we have it on our generator or we have it just plugged into an outlet here, it's uh, causing an issue. So, uh, yeah, trying to troubleshoot that now, I guess. We're able to get hot water, so this one is... This one's heating at the moment. Uh, this one's full of hot water. I just switched it over back to that one. The first one is is the main one that we use for everything and these last two are just designated for washing the bulk tanks and the milk lines so now we're trying to figure out uh, yeah, something is uh, is causing an issue here something is back feeding or something lost ground uh, yeah in order to really figure that out we need to go through and shut things off individually and really the only time we can shut off all this stuff is uh, between 11.30 and 12.45. So we're going to be working on that here later this morning. Hopefully we can find the issue quickly, but I have a feeling because uh, it's, I mean, it's such a, it must be such a small uh, amount that it, the only thing it's showing up on is these hot water heaters. So we'll, uh, yeah. We'll, We'll see if we can figure it out and I'll uh, update you guys or if you guys have any uh, ideas why one generator would work versus the other. I'm, uh, I'm kind of curious now. I, it's, uh, yeah. 
doesn't make sense to me, but there must be yeah, something going on there. It's later in the day here in the early afternoon. We've got all of our hot water heaters are running again. It ended up being uh, coming from a breaker that supplies power to the heaters in our water troughs in our north barn. And we don't actually use those heaters over there, so we somebody must have hit that breaker here at some point. Um, and I'm sure those heating elements, they're nine, 10 years old. The heating elements are in the heater or in the water troughs and they were installed from the beginning, but we've never used them because it doesn't freeze in our milking barns. And yeah, somebody must have bumped that breaker and one or multiple of those heaters are bad, which they, we tend to always have a few bad ones in the barns where we do use them, so it's not surprising. It was causing enough of an issue to cause these hot water heaters not to work. Apparently they're really sensitive. So uh, glad we got that figured out. Uh, you never want to have uh, voltage or electricity issues, but definitely not on a dairy farm because cows are very sensitive to electricity and you can have a lot of uh, issues with your cows if you have uh, stray voltage on the farm. So I'm glad we were able to figure that out. Uh, ended up being an easy fix. So got things back uh, up and going and I'll probably end the video here. Uh, I'll maybe put a clip of the milking at the end of the video. Uh, some of you guys have asked for some milking videos, so I'll do some filming in the parlor and yeah, we'll end, end it there. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have uh, questions or comments, uh, put them in, in the, the comments below and I'll try to answer them. And appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next video.